evening, depending on where you are in this world. This is Hedging Knee with a morning update for Bitcoin. Last night I had presented this wedge pattern. And I was counting one, two, three, four, and five. <clears throat> and I was thinking there will be a one more lower low. But instead, it decided to break out before that. Well, that's fine with me. This wedge pattern was pretty uncanny. And we've seen that before, right here. In fact, I should have noticed this last night. The fractal nature. And this one, they look very similar. I have a down, same thing here. Price came down to an A, B, C, and broke out on D. A, B, C, and broke out on D. Because <clears throat> I believe I had labeled this as A, B, C, D, E as well with one more lower level. And it decided not to do that, broke it. So, this is a bit exciting now, very exciting, if it's what I think it is. Can we soon see the wave three of three fireworks? And that means if the wave three of three, there's one of three is finished. One, two, three, four, five. You can put three and four here. It doesn't really matter. I don't care. There are always more than one way to label it for you people who are coming out consistently saying wrong this, wrong that, hedging, your account sucks, the account is wrong. I would only say, <clears throat> and I think my friend Shonster had replied to some of you with the actual pages correcting your statements. Anyways, there's always more than one way. To label the count. And if you feel your count is the better way, more power to you. So here, let's go back to the potential of three of three fireworks. We have this fractal. And this fractal, I'm going to square. Like that. I'll keep it blue for now. Actually, you know what? I'll keep it white. And this fractal is pretty, can have quite significant implications. The reason is because of what could happen afterwards. So there's that fractal. Now, this wedge is much smaller than this, so small in proportion. But could it take us out of it, past the threshold? I think so. I think there's a very good chance of that. And already, we are looking at wave one, two, three, four, and five. Look how here it was, one, two, three, four, five, the initial one. This is one I'm on, the initial one. Not this whole thing. I'm not saying this whole thing will be equivalent to this. But initial one up, one, two, three, four, five. 
<clears throat> will be the one of This will be the most exciting thing to look at for today on a fractal basis. If we zoom in now, we'll see, update the two, one, two, three, four, Maybe three, four, or five, and five will barely, barely poke one more time and come back and try again. <clears throat> there are so many combinations, 36 possibilities. For those of you who bought at 5,949 or whatever the exchange you used, the bottom might have been. Should you be trading in and out, in and out, in and out of this? I don't think so. We should be just watching this for entertainment. And if we break this decisively so that the price remains above the white trend line, which I think I had moved. <clears throat> then that is the start of wave three of three fireworks, in my opinion. Now let's look at the head and shoulders. So the price is sitting right underneath the belly <coughs> of this. This is still potential. I'm going to keep it there for now. I just moved it to the right because time has elapsed. Price could hit this and come right back down. And from a symmetry point of view, it could give this long equivalency. However, if the fireworks starts, We can see price going like this. So that instead of an ABC, we may now get the completion of One, <clears throat> two, three, four, and five. The first five waves. Of one of three. I think that's pretty exciting. And if that is the case, <clears throat> I think we can pretty much confidently call the bottom. Now, once Bitcoin starts moving like this, I believe the top 5, top 10, 15 coins will turn with it on the dime. And some of the alts will show the turning as well. 
but their rate of turning will be much different and less than the rate of turn of the Bitcoin in the top 5, 10, maybe even 15 or 20 coins. And that's pretty expected, I believe. It was like that very similarly in the July, <clears throat> July of 2017 correction and the September correction, just about every correction. But one assurance that one should get is that if the wave three of three fireworks starts, and for some reason your altcoin that you might be holding is and sharing in that aggressive move up right away. The assurance would be, okay, the bottom is probably in now. And it's just a matter of time before the altcoins start making orgasmic lunges upwards again. And just like we saw in July and September corrections, some altcoins might be still making some newer lows. That is probable. We've seen that before. That's why I've been saying consistently now for three weeks, I think, that greater focus should be given to Bitcoin as a weight of your portfolio, maybe. And the biggest market sized coins. If you read the purchase of Poloniex, which was pretty much a Goldman Sachs purchase, Wall Street is coming in. One way or another, they're coming in. And when the hedge funds come in, they're going to come in with leverage. And there won't be enough Bitcoin to go around for them. So they're going to have to do what? When there's not enough liquidity or availability of Bitcoin, Bitcoin liquidity, they're going to have to bid the price up higher and higher and higher to compel common holders to release and sell their Bitcoins. So the question is, at what point would you release your Bitcoins to the hedge funds? Will it be 30,000, 77,000, 150,000, 250,000? That is a decision you need to make on your own. <clears throat> it must be a self-made decision. But as higher the price goes up, more and more hodlers will be compelled to release their coins. Remember, <clears throat> There are 17 million Bitcoins mined so far. 4 million Four million have been lost. Either people lost their wallets, keys, computers got destroyed, threw out their old computer, <clears throat> with maybe 200,000 Bitcoins or 2 million Bitcoins, God knows how many, and spend maybe days and days at the dumpster looking for their hard drive and never find it again. I don't know if you read that story. So that leaves, what, 13 million left. If we have 65% hodlers, the lifetime hodlers, Bitcoin pack rats. <laughs> then that leaves only
Well, there's only four and a half million Bitcoin in liquidity available for current direct purchase through the exchanges, OTC, or any other mechanism. Four and a half million. So what the hedge funds need to do is they need to convince and compel the 65% to release their Bitcoin. And I believe Max Kaiser himself had said at around, what was it, 100,000 <clears> or so, these hodlers may release some of their Bitcoins. So there is a liquidity, not enough. There is a liquidity shortage of Bitcoin. Not enough Bitcoin to meet the demand for the Bitcoin that will be coming in from Wall Street. And then can you imagine the price of Bitcoin once it gets to the main street, the true main street? So let's see if we get today or tomorrow or tonight some fireworks going on and see if we can break this upper line of resistance. Thank you and have a good day.